Nicole Shanahan's remarks can be seen as a pointed criticism of the dangers of centralized control, the erosion of genuine leadership, and the manipulation of vulnerable individuals. Why is Kamala Harris sort of dangerous to you? I think Kamala Harris is dangerous to me because she is the ultimate puppet for an organization that has, I believe, since President Obama, not actually run real people. Mm -hmm. They have selected amongst a very small group of individuals that they can control and dictate policy over. Yes. I don't think Kamala Harris is somebody who will sit here and tell you how she feels. I think that cap human capacity of hers has long gone. Yes. I, I think that what she now represents is corporatism. Mm -hmm. um, she represents uh, a huge amount of crony cronyism. And I do believe that she is using messaging. And this is the part that worries me the most is that she uses messaging in a way to get populations of young, unknowing, innocent people to join her on these false virtue signal ambitions and, and actually take on policies that will eventually really hurt them in the future. My mother is from communist China. Mm -hmm. I grew up hearing about what the famine was like in communist China. Right. Well, she's going to do price controls at supermarkets, so we don't have to worry about that. But that is exactly how you get to a famine. I mean, this is... <laughs> I know. This is the basics. These are the... This is communism 101. Her critique of Kamala Harris centers around concerns of centralized authority infringing a more personal autonomy. By referring to Harris as a puppet... Shanahan raises the alarm that Harris may not be an independent leader, but rather a figurehead for more powerful unseen forces. This aligns with conservative worries about cronyism and corporatism, where a small elite manipulates policies for their own benefit rather than the public good. The fears of false virtue signaling emphasize the dangers of superficial appeals to emotion, potentially leading the youth astray. Shanahan's comments can be interpreted as an indictment of the lack of authenticity in leadership. The idea that Harris is not a real person, but rather controlled, implies a loss of individuality and sincerity in leadership. Shanahan's fears reflect the anxiety that arises when people feel powerless against overwhelming and impersonal forces. Her reference to Communism 101 and warnings about the consequences of price controls leading to famine. Highlight the tension between freedom and control, suggesting dire consequences if economic and individual freedoms are compromised. Shanahan's remarks tap into public fears of manipulation and the loss of personal autonomy. The idea that young and impressionable people are being misled by Harris's message underscores a broader anxiety about the influence of powerful figures and institutions on the vulnerable. Shanahan's mention of her mother's experiences in communist China adds a deeply personal and emotional layer to these concerns, making the threat feel more immediate and real. Her warnings are likely to resonate strongly with an audience, already skeptical of centralized power and fearful of losing individual freedoms. By drawing comparisons with historical examples of communism, such as the Great Famine in China, Shanahan's message may amplify opposition to Harris and her policies, adding a sense of urgency and gravitas to the critique 